Greetings, family. Stillness and blessings. Love and light. Health and wholeness. To one and to all. I thank you for joining me in this clear space. This high vibrational space of energy and essence of the divine oneness of ourself. I invite you to tap in and power up. Be mindful of your breathing. And enjoy sitting in the oneness of yourself. Namaste. Thank you for joining me in this tranquil space of stillness. This is your host and co-pilot, Saul the God. Namaste. Stillness and blessed family. Love and light, health and wholeness. Stillness and blessings, love and light, health and wholeness. And once again, stillness and blessings, love and light, health and wholeness to the cosmic conscious and soul control family. Hope everybody in the highest vibration possible. And for me, I'm in the highest vibration possible. Doing what it do and what I do every day. I hope everybody also in the highest version of yourself, emotionally and spiritually. We're gonna get right off into these four words, children of the sun and daughters of the sun. Um, What societal memory complex are you using to identify with yourself? If you don't know what a societal memory complex is, look it up. Societal memory complex. It's not that I don't want to want, want to share what it is, but information is application. So you got to do some work. It's, it's not it's, it's it's not real it's not real it may sound it can sound it can sound so so tangible and grasping and 
for lack of a better word, real to you. But it's not real until you make it real to you. Food is for maintaining survival. Food is for maintaining, not for survival, pardon. Food is for maintaining, not survival. The reason why I say that is because I was I was uh, contemplating on how much how much uh in the spiritual and so-called conscious community how much emphasis has been put on the body as far as diets and all of that so my higher self said to me food is for maintenance not survival a spiritual life has little to nothing to do with your body. That's what I was saying that to say this. A spiritual life has little to nothing to do with your body and everything to do with your mind. It's many of us making the error of attempting to go to higher planes without training in the base foundations. Meaning we're trying to tap into heart, first eye, because it's not a third eye. It's our first eye. It's the eye we should be seeing through all, time, all the time. And our crown energies without having clear, clean, open, and activated the lower chakras. The root, sacral, and soul. And mastery. And we find ourselves repeating the same cycles or carrying the same cycles into new situations. Loyalty, courage, and honor is the warrior's code. And if you don't have that in yourself, man, you'll be deceived by so many people. Anybody not in the life, not like you, it may be a liability. And if you care about those people, you know you have to be careful. We all choose the life we want, even if the if even if it ain't the life we say we want. <laughs> we all choose the life we want, even if it ain't the life we say we want. Why well, I say that? Because if you wanted to, you would have done it. We are attracted. Hold on for a minute, y'all. Life happening. Traffic. We are attracted to people not only because of the good things about them, but also because of their pain. And a lot of us probably don't recognize that. But in good science or good observation of our interaction and our attachments and why we attach to people, you will find out that it's beyond your attraction to people is beyond what you maybe have thought it thought it was on the surface. It's a, a deep psychology. There is no such thing as making it. There ain't no such thing as making it. Because if you quote unquote make make it your biggest obstacle is going to be sustaining it. <laughs> I was listening to a uh, 50 Cent audio book and, and, and it really was like a lot of things was just sounding like 
me things that are, things that, I, that 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 you know his his, his story is a lot of, I, I I see a lot of similarity a lot of resonance in his story you know I don't see a difference between me and Sit Fifty Cent other than he in the limelight however he said something that that resonated to me more than anything because it's something that my whole everything about me is is based off this word he said. Pay attention to the passion stance. The passion stance. I want to put that in parentheses. Passion stance. Pay attention to the passion stance in people. It's always more shit to go through. But what he was talking about is being mindful of people who don't being mindful of people who don't match your passion. Not necessarily match your passion, but have a passion, but have the type of passion that complement the type of passion that you're operating in. And then having that ability to foresee that, it eliminate problems in any area of life. It's a principle that could be applied anywhere. Which birthed this question. How often do you look over your life? Access all you have been through and whoever you've been through things with to result in who you are today. Which leads me to the inclusion of why we have to learn to face and lock horns with all of our fears. Because most things we feel are things about ourselves that we see and recognize and others express freely. <clears throat> And we and we be attracted and drawn to it. If you got wolves in your circle, make sure you feed them. Freedom and fear are not a cute couple. They don't even like each other. Can't have freedom if you in fear. <laughs> and, and if you in fear. <laughs> <laughs> Freedom go seem so far to you. Everybody on the set got to have, I'm going back to that passion. Everybody in the set, meaning everybody in your circle, pretty much got to have the same passion, though. Because it's going to be the fuel to anything that's going to be built, ideated, Motivated, it's a force. Passion is a force. Which leads me to say life is like a life is like a candle. Don't let it burn from both ends. <laughs> Be honest of yourself, appraisal. And be honest of your appraisal of everyone you interact with at any time. And I say that because in my own analysis, every, everything I be saying from come, be coming from life experiences. But I'm saying that to say we're attracted to the lies we tell ourselves. <laughs> we're attracted to the lies we tell ourselves and other people. So when you start lying to yourself, then you're gonna draw people that attract the truth, that 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 reflect the truth of, of that the truth which you have found in yourself. Know your truth is what I'm saying. We all are on our journey and that rose part where they join. Just know you control your journey because we're not on a journey. The journey is you. And how are you expressing your journey? A truly effective leader motivates inspiration and inspires motivation. I say that because I learned early not to compromise my vision for people, for fast money, a check, anything. Because the only light at the end of my tunnel will be me. And that's the final message. The only light at the end of your tunnel is you. 
You ain't never gonna see no hearse pulling a U-Haul to the graveyard. I hope everybody's still in the high vibration as possible. We're about to proceed to the 80K loop book to Law of Life. I don't know if we got a short one or a long one today, but we're going to get it in. And it's, and it's between time that I do have. And we're on page 357, 357, Ariel, we're going to pause for a minute because it's a helicopter, y'all we're going to try to get through this, um, Talk. I'm going to try to talk about the traffic or the helicopter or whatever that is, we ain't going to be distracted by distractions, today we're on page 357, Ariel, E-R-I-E-L. Ariel is an ascended being who has his focus in the high mountain in mountains in Arizona. He has been there and held that focus of light for a very long time. He worked silently. It was not known in the outer world until in the 1930s. It was only then that he began to act in outer affairs of our nation. In August 1939, when so many children were thrown out of embodiment in China, the Master Ariel and Fun Wei rendered tremendous service and more than 10,000 children attained the ascension. Ariel took 60 to his retreat for training so that they too could make the ascension at the close of that embodiment. He has also taken others there and assisted them to their ascension. He teaches in his retreat the use of the light and sound ray. He teaches in his retreat the use of the light and sound rate, the expansion of your own light and many other actions of the law. He assisted in rendering China, China great service by establishing certain conditions which they hope will bring about purity and her perfection again. He is around six feet one inch in height and has piercing dark eyes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for your time attention, energy, inspiration, motivation, love, support, donations, and just continuing to uh, grow with me, you know, as we share, because y'all sharing whether y'all know it or not by giving me something to reflect this information to. Um, my cash app is dollar sign S A I W O O D A G O D. That's dollar sign Sawu to God. I hope everybody move forward in this day in speed and light in the highest frequency of life. Stillness and blessings, love and light, health and wholeness. The only light at the end of the tunnel is you. One family.